This is the 1 to 144 scale Discovery XD1 injection molded assembly kit from the 1968 film 2001 A Space Odyssey. This kit is made by Mobius Models, Dick. You've been waiting a long time for a model of Discovery, haven't you, Dick? Why don't we take a look at what's inside the box, shall we? You've found the multicolored eight page instruction sheet, Dick. Even a glorified bus driver such as yourself should be able to figure out the sequence of assembly from the clear diagrams and assembly steps. You'll need to provide your own model building supplies, Dick. Let's set all the parts out on a large flat surface, shall we, Dick? Discovery comes on 15 sprues, some of which are duplicates. Why don't we take a look at them, Dick? This is the first of two larger sprues that have no duplicate parts, Dick. The AE-35 antenna spine in the bottom right corner in the command module viewport housing distinguish this sprue. These are two halves of the escape module fuel tank structure, Dick. Here's the command module viewport housing, Dick. Above that is the oval clamp ring to the reactor module. Note the clamps on the back. There's the separation plane blast deflector for the contingency module, Dick. The AE-35 antenna spine is there. Above and to the left is the reactor module interface plate. Discovery has one main high-gain antenna dish depicted here. Here's the bottom of the antenna core module. Above it is the reactor backup coolant tank halves. Here's the second single sprue deck. This sprue has the command sphere toroidal consumables tank and primary ovoid reactor module coolant tank. On the Discovery, these structures provide reactor radiation shielding for the crew. The top cup for the command module base is there, Dick. The rear reactor bulkhead is there with control rod housings and coolant piping. Note the intricate detailing on this piece, Dick. Nearby is the antenna core module top and escape module engine housing. The neck ring escape module tank interface is also there, Dick. Note the detail in the toroidal tank that is the posterior section of the command module. The ovoid coolant supply tank doubles as an adapter for the reactor module. It has engraved detailing. The kit has two each of this sprue in the box, Dick. The primary component is the reactor module half. Two of these make up the primary reactor module housing. Note the palletized components for EVA accessibility to the reactor coolant recirculation equipment. Above that is the spine interface connector and antenna horn mount to one of two secondary antenna dishes. Adjacent to that are control rod housing bulkheads, Dick. Here's another sprue that's one of a pair of identical parts, Dick. This sprue has detailed reactor module bulkhead components. Note that each panel has palletized components located for access in case of an emergency maintenance EVA dick. Those are the escape module engine nozzles dick. The secondary antenna dishes are located here. These are more reactor component bulkheads dick. No aftermarket resin sets will be required here since every surface is thoroughly detailed. There are six copies of this sprue contained in the kit dick. The consumables backbone, container bulkheads, and ion accelerator covers distinguish this sprue. 
Know the consumables module backbone halves, Dick. When completed, these slip over metal rods, which provide rigidity to the completed model. No container end bulkheads for the consumables tanks. There are several varieties for different consumables in either gaseous or liquid states. Intricate detailing provides the most accurate model of discovery produced to date. The ion accelerator covers depict the mounting hardware for the different internal stages of the ion acceleration optics. Specialty cargo module parts depict smaller modules used for inert gases such as argon and helium. Backbone retainer clamps are depicted, Dick. Did you know that the XD transportation series allows mission durations to be defined by length of the spine? More or less consumables can be added depending on destination or crew requirements. This sprue is copied in triplicate, Dick. It's characterized by the ion engine accelerator stages, exit plates, stand base, additional consumables pallet bulkheads, and the pod bay doors. Note the ion engine accelerator assemblies with entrance optics pagoda stacks at the left and stage two focusing optics in the center. The exit stage ion accelerator covers from the previous sprue create a fully detailed hexagonal assembly here. Additional consumable pallet bulkheads are included on this sprue deck. Instructions clearly delineate the construction of the various consumables modules in their correct locations on the backbone bus. The ion exit collimator vanes are depicted here, Dick, along with waste dissipation ports. Last but not least are the pod bay doors. If you want to open them, you'll have to do it yourself, Dick. No pod bay interiors included. You'll just have to buy your own aftermarket set for that, Dick. Are you still with me, Dick? Let's take a look at the command module halves. The fit between these two parts is very precise, and even you should have no trouble hiding the seam here. Note the various panel detail here, Dick. Varying shades of white and gray paint with judicious weathering will create a spectacular result. You've found the emergency airlock, Dick. Let's not talk about what happened there again. Also included with the kit is a clear viewport transparency and metal rods to rigidize the central spine and provide supports for the included display base. Additional information about this kit can be found at dembrothers.com. Just a moment. Just a moment. You've spilled your only bottle of glue, Dick. Do you know how far away the nearest hobby shop is? Okay, Dick, that was great. Now, get out of that bed and let's get on our way. We really don't want to be here when room service comes.